Today I have a special job in the shop and this is to customize this frost bearing right here. This comes off an uh, old timer car and uh, this one was the one that was used uh, previously and the thickness here is too thick so the car has problems uh, getting the gears in and uh, right now we're switching to this one. This one is actually a little bit lower as you can see about two millimeter a little, little bit more than two millimeter uh, but this is actually a graphite bearing not sure if you can call this bearing but uh, it uses just graphite and the the plate will just uh, rub on this and uh, they they work actually very well or surprisingly well and uh, they're commonly used I think in old timers. This one here is just a regular frost bearing but as I said before is too thick so we will put this one in and uh, you can already maybe see the difference between the two and this is the shaft diameter of these little two uh, shafts on both sides and uh, this one here has a 14 millimeter shaft on both sides while the original one or the, the previously installed one I should say has a 10 millimeter shaft this is actually has a little bit of wear you can see it's go down to 9.7 but if you switch it like this you can see it's pretty much spot on 10 millimeter and uh, all the rest is the same the dimensions so uh, this distance right here and the total distance is both the same so we just need to turn these two shafts down to 10 millimeter and that's uh, pretty much uh, the job done. So right here you can actually see the clutch housing and this black piece right here is the arm or the fork that engages the clutch and the frost bearing sits right here. So you can see the new one doesn't fit right now because these two are too big. This might look like an odd looking part to, to clamp on the lathe at first but it is actually pretty simple and we're going, just going to hold it on one side, support it with the tailstock on the other side with a center, a uh, life center and then we're going to, just going to turn one side, flip the whole part around and turn the other and uh, that's pretty much it. I've already installed the 14 millimeter collet in the spindle. Just going to put the part in and clamp it. I'm actually going to use this special live center on the tailstock for this part, and that's because of this uh, shaft right here. It's very long and very small diameter. It's actually smaller than the diameter we need to turn. So this is nine millimeter shaft right here. And uh, this gives us enough clearance for the tool right there. So right now I'm just going to move the tip of the tool around there we need to be to positioning the life center. I'm just going to apply light pressure here on the tip and lock it in place. The part is now properly clamped and supported and we're pretty much ready to go but there's just one more thing I want to do and this is to secure uh, the graphite part right here. I'm going to use uh, two zip ties uh, just to be sure that this doesn't fly away and when we are actually turning the lathe on. So first I'm going to touch off the part, turn it roughly down to 11.5 millimeter and then uh, verify it with the micrometer and then uh, turn it down to the needed 10 millimeter diameter. I want to go pretty precise to 10.0. Thank you. 
I don't really want to turn take off material off the shoulder so uh, therefore I'm going to touch it off while the spindle is standing still set the DRO to zero and then now we can take our first cut just took a one millimeter cut to 13 millimeter going to measure it with my calipers to verify we're actually there and uh, pretty accurate so I will set the DRO right now to 13.06 and I uh, would keep on turning we're now down to 11.5 and we're going to switch to the micrometer right now I'm measuring 11.54 millimeter right now and I'm going to set the DRO to that value and take off another half a millimeter Right now I should have 11.0 millimeter and I'm going to verify that with the micrometer again and uh, I'm measuring just below that I'm measuring 10.99 uh, so I'm going to set the DRO again to that value 10.99 and take off another half a millimeter So this was just our final cut and uh, we got pretty much spot on 10.00 millimeter perfect uh, right now we just need to make a little chamfer on the shoulder I'm actually going to make a chamfer with a file We can take the pot out. So this is our first side done. Nice little chamfer here with the file. Front of here as well, looking pretty good. Now we can flip the pot around and do the other side. I need to change the collet to a 10 millimeter collet. Put the part back in. And now we're just going to repeat all the steps uh, on this side as well. And this is now the finished piece, came out looking very nice. As I said before, it was a very easy and simple job to do. A very special looking part, but as you just saw, it was a, just need the, the right setup and it's a pretty easy job. And the part does actually fit 
very nice inside here and uh, I hope the clutch will work better from now on. Uh, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.